It's my feel good breakfast show. A very warm welcome back. We are live, large and in charge on SABC3. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Now, we know, you know that we love comedy here on Expresso and we love it even more when international comedians come in for a little bit of a chat and visiting us this day. Uh, we are chatting exclusively uh, on Expresso to American comedian Jessica Michelle Singleton, who, is, uh, who has gathered worldwide fans and fame thanks to her world tours and her debut comedy album, Please Don't Leave. Me. I hope I said it right. You did. Is that, I, it's very did I put dramatic. in the right amount of emotion, please. Well, you have to have heaving don't sobs in between me. each words. So that's why the okay, you say it. Like, please don't leave me. Uh, which is obviously hilarious. <laughs> cling, cling, cling. Hello, 911. What's your emergency? Yeah, it's just uh, every boyfriend. <laughs> I'm in your bushes. I still love you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Listen, thanks for joining us. And I know that you've been busy, you've been hectic all throughout South Africa. Um, you were performing at the Goliath Comedy Club, you were telling me earlier. Yeah. On. What's your experience of South Africa been like? I don't know, is it your first time in Africa it as is, a continent? It in is South my Africa first time in Africa. Um, so I'm having fun uh, pretending to be a typical, like, dumb American, being like, oh, where are the lions? And people are like, they don't know I'm kidding. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, God, ma'am. Um, it's been great. It's yeah. been fun seeing the differences in audiences in America and, like, here doing uh, material and having people be shocked by things that I didn't think were shocking. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Was that the same? Because I know that you've been at the Cape Town Comedy Club over the past uh, week, right? Yeah. And last week was in Johannesburg at the Goliath Comedy Club. Did you find a difference in audience there? Uh, yeah, a little bit of a difference. The audience here is a little more international because I think it's a, a just they get more people vacationing going into that club. Mm -hmm. So uh, things are a little more universal and uh, there's... Definitely a lot more people missing yeah. the things I'm saying because of my gross accent and I talk too fast, so they're just hearing me like, nah, 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 America, <laughs> why? <And> like, <laughs> Get her out of here. <laughs> now listen, we love it. We absolutely love it. And um, I, I was going to ask you now, now that you, you are here, and I mean, hopefully this is one of your highlights. It ranks as one of your highlights. On, oh, on no, your, this is amazing. In your, yeah. in your career, because you've had uh, quite a great deal as well, uh, including in receiving the Montreal Comedy Festival um, in Switzerland. You were the first female um, uh, comedian to become recognized on a global level. Oh, yeah, it was the first English speaking. There was English like a speaking, really yes. popular French festival, and then there was one year where they're like, we want to do English speaking. And that's kind of how my career started building because I just took video submissions and I yeah. was a, like a new comic, and I was like, here's my dumb video. And they're like, we like you. So, uh, yeah, that was really great. Performing in Switzerland was fun. That was a nightmare. I bombed in a theater full of like a thousand people. Wow. Just, I heard a man like, <clears throat> Wow, how far along into the show was that? Oh, that was like three minutes in. Mm, what do you do then? It was, it was only do? like a seven minute set. I just panicked and all my uh, material I was doing was really self-deprecating. Like, oh, I look like a monster, but they had given me like full makeup and done my hair and I was in a dress. And so <laughs> people were like, I don't, you're not that hideous. Like, what are you? I'm like, uh, and then, <coughs> then in the back, there's some just bad coughing. Yeah, you're just like a robot. And you're like, I guess I'll just keep performing. Did you show them this though? Because we went uh, scouring around the internet. A oh little no, bit. I'm so can afraid. I, can, I, can we show you this picture? Can, just show that quickly. This is called ha hashtag Pantless Around the World. Oh, which where, one's it gonna it? be? Oh, that's me and Richard Pryor, you guys. That's wow. my vibe. Wow, he's a comedy legend, and here you are. Are you pantless? I am. I do that everywhere I go with landmarks. I'm a child. Yeah, that's, that's just a. That's not a landmark. That's just a field of rocks. Sometimes I mean, you have to improvise. I, you know, I, I want to truly really exp understand and possibly even will myself to experience pantless around the world because it seems like a very liber liberating movement for me. It's nice. I haven't like lost a lip or anything yet, so. <laughs> When did you start doing pantless around the world? Um, it happened because I was at a festival in North Carolina and we all went swimming just in a creek and I didn't have a bathing suit so I just took my pants off and went swimming and someone took a picture of me standing in front of a cow field so then I was just like, I'm just gonna <laughs> do this wherever I go and people are like, what's wrong with you? Please well, stop. But well, we, we hashtag pantless around the world. So uh, listen, everyone should do it. <laughs> if, send me your pictures. Everyone should do it. Okay, but don't send the pictures to us. Yeah, no. Don't. Send them to Jessica. Um, she's <laughs> online. You can find her uh, at JMS Comedy. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your stay in South Africa. Oh, thank you. I'm having a blast. And I may you kill out there on stage. Thank you. All right. Jessica Michelle Thanks Singleton. And of course, if you'd like to find out more information about her comedy, you can uh, visit her website, jessicamichellesingleton.com. Right now, it's time for the news.